Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back to show off uh, some really cool pre-orders that I have gotten in the mail here in the last uh, week or so. Uh, these are all 2022 releases, obviously, but I am really excited for all of these. Got some really cool additions here, so I just wanted to show these off uh, by themselves, separate from a normal raids video. But we're going to start things off with a uh, legendary death metal band here, and that is the brand new album from the band Immolation, entitled Acts of God, uh, put out just here recently by Nuclear Blast. This is the uh, band's 11th full-length album overall, so they've been putting them out for quite a while now. In fact, uh, if you are not familiar with Immolation by some chance, they are a death metal band from Yonkers, New York, been around since 1988. And uh, yeah, might as well show off the whole packaging of this. And I love the uh, artwork on the disc. But yeah. I've only gotten a chance to listen to this one so far, but this is an absolutely killer album. I cannot wait to dive into it a few more times. But of course, you know, I couldn't just uh, go with the standard CD edition. Um, I've been seeing a lot of these kind of editions being put out here recently. I know the new Exodus, uh, the most recent one, uh, got put out in one of these versions. I believe the new Crowbar. I'm pretty sure the Crowbar is because I have that on pre-order as well. But that is the uh, Long Box edition. Kind of going old school here. But uh, yeah, this was uh, put up exclusively through Decibel Magazine. And I don't know if you can see it on the uh, sticker there. But this was limited to 500 copies. So I was really happy I was able to nab a copy or, yeah, of this version. And uh, yeah, it comes with a cool square button there. You get this big ass sticker. But of course, you know... Couldn't just uh, settle for that. I was really excited to see a post on uh, Facebook of the band uh, signing some booklets. So I knew Newberry Comics was going to be uh, having a signed edition. And sure enough, they put it up for pre-order. And I nabbed myself a signed copy as well. Because you know me, I'm an autograph whore. So yeah, really awesome to finally add Emulation's uh, autograph to my collection here. Very awesome. And then moving on to the next one, this is another, you know, legend in the death metal scene. This guy's been around for quite a while. This is the uh, debut solo album from George Corpse Grinder Fisher, simply entitled Corpse Grinder. And I just absolutely love that artwork. And then, of course, the man himself on the back, respect the neck. And uh, cool artwork there on the disc. Uh, yeah, uh, Corpse Grinder, the band, though, as a, you know, death metal band, obviously, from Tampa, Florida, been uh, pretty much around just since um, last year, 2021. As I said, this is the debut full-length album put out by Perseverance Media Group uh, just earlier, or just a little while back this year, right, like I said, within the last week or so. And actually, the cool thing is that the backing band here for him, uh, Nick and Charlie Belmore, actually play in D. Snyder's band as well as Kingdom of Sorrow, so that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, and uh, as you can probably see there, I got the autograph copy through uh, Jamie Josta's uh, label and everything. And uh, of course, couldn't just get a t-shirt or to get a t-shirt excuse me get a cd but i had to get the uh cd and t-shirt bundle here um i kind of figured they almost like they did this backwards because on the back of this shirt is a giant size version of the artwork so i kind of figured you would put this on the front and then corpse ground on the back but they kind of did reverse but still i love this shirt very very cool so uh yeah and then last but not least, um, pretty much the first band that I got into that was, you know, quote unquote, underground metal. And I've been a huge, huge fan of this band ever since. And that is Hammerfall with their brand new album, Hammer of Dawn. Uh, yeah, of course, Hammerfall, heavy power metal band from Gothenburg, Sweden, been around since 1993. This is their 12th full length album 
hard to believe. Uh, put out by Napalm Records just within the last week, I do believe. Uh, what's cool is this actually features guest vocals from the King himself, King Diamond, on the song Venerate Me, the single that I actually did a review for. Um, yeah, I'll show this off. Of course, it would be one of those, you know, kind of digi sleeve uh, things. So, of course, anytime I get a digi sleeve, I always put them in these little white envelopes. Got a cool picture of the band there. So, yeah, good quality stuff. And, of course, you know, you know me. I cannot uh, do things simply. So, of course, when I realized that there was a special edition, I had to get said special edition which is a awesome looking box edition. Love the silver foil stamping there. And it's even on the back. Track listing. Of course, came with uh, the album itself. Also came with this really heavy ass hammer necklace which of course i am probably never going to wear simply because like i said this thing is heavy and i also don't want to risk damaging it losing it whatever because that's just my luck this back in there maybe and it came with this uh, cool little tin here and inside are uh, four different guitar picks. That one's got the band on it. Not really focusing too well, but hopefully you can make it out. Got the artwork, essentially. And then, of course, the hammer. So, really cool. And, of course, it also came with a hardbound book. Has uh, some really cool pictures in it. I haven't had a chance to go through it thoroughly. But, yeah. Very, very cool stuff. I'm really happy. I actually decided to go ahead and uh, pull the trigger for this edition. But that's not all. Because, yes, I found out, which it seems like Hammerfall's really been doing this a lot lately. Newberry Comics had a signed edition. So, of course, you know, I have a sealed copy here, which is going to stay with the box. And uh, came with a cool postcard there with the artwork. Signed by the entire band. So freaking cool. This is actually, I think, the third autograph, set of autographs that I have from this band. Um, yeah, really happy to have this, though. Like I said, Hammerfall is one of my favorite bands. So, yeah, that is going to do it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.